Advocates here in the Valley raised their voices for stricter gun laws, and this time they rallied in the streets. Reporter Megan Myers spoke to a few of the students behind the movement. There are so many young kids in Arizona ready to speak up for what they believe in, ready to speak on something that they never thought that they could speak on. This past Saturday brought nearly 15,000 student advocates to the Arizona State Capitol. Forget us! You won't forget us! One of the 800 March for Our Lives rallies. Marching not just in Arizona, but all over the world. Their signs and their voices, and you know, it's, it's just amazing to see so many strangers come together with one big message. Parents, children, students, and survivors rallying with one purpose in mind, stricter gun laws. 17-year-old McKenna Gaddis, who wore a bulletproof vest, stood out in the crowd. I go to a Catholic school, so I gotta wear a uniform every day. So it's like, I don't want it to change quite yet, you know? I want to still be in my skirt. I don't wanna have to wear something so extreme. Although some of the kids that are in attendance today are too young to vote, they are still determined that their voices be heard. Our community needs to get together. If you cannot vote, there are other ways you can get involved. Taking action throughout downtown Phoenix, chanting for change. I hope to vote out people who won't do anything. I hope to vote in people who will stand with our students and um, everyone in the country who is voting for change and um, wants to see something really happen. I just think that there needs to be a change. The Second Amendment is really about, like, the old guns and guns in that century, and we've evolved so much that there needs to be something new that's happening. And they are taking a step toward that change. In Phoenix, Megan Meyer, Cronkite News. With midterm elections quickly approaching, students who are soon to turn 18 will have the chance to vote.